Hello, dear viewers of Celestial Chronicles. Today, we're diving into the profound depths of one of the greatest works in English literature, John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost. This masterpiece, first published in 1667 and later revised in 1674, is a narrative that intertwines the biblical story of Adam and Eve's fall from grace with the tale of Lucifer's rebellion and expulsion from heaven. If you're fascinated by the mysteries of the universe and the minds that have dared to explore them, then Celestial Chronicles is the place for you. Don't miss out on our cosmic journey, hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest videos. Dive deep into the celestial stories and be part of our community of stargazers and thinkers. Remember, every new discovery starts with a single click. So, subscribe now for more stellar content. Amidst the fiery depths of hell, Satan nurses his wounded pride and plots his revenge against God and humanity. Milton vividly portrays the anguish of the fallen angels and Satan's relentless pursuit of retribution, setting the stage for a cosmic conflict of epic proportions. The construction of pandemonium and the gathering of the demonic council. In the heart of the infernal abyss, Satan, the fallen angel, masterminds the creation of pandemonium, the grand capital of hell. This city, majestic in its dark splendor, becomes the meeting place for the council of demons. Here, they gather, their numbers vast as autumn leaves in the forest or seashells on a shore, to strategize their next move. This grand assembly is a testament to Milton's extraordinary talent in crafting intricate worlds. He paints a vivid picture of a realm that, while devoid of divine grace, is teeming with a life of its own. The council serves not just as a gathering of fallen angels, but as a symbol of their defiance and unyielding spirit. Despite their fall from heaven, they continue to exercise their free will, plotting and scheming in their dark paradise. This part of the narrative showcases Milton's ability to infuse even the bleakest of settings with a sense of grandeur and complexity, Satan's perilous voyage and the tainting of humankind, the great escape from hell. In the depths of hell, Satan, the fallen angel, embarks on a perilous expedition. He navigates through the treacherous landscapes of the underworld, skillfully evading its formidable guardians. His objective is clear and unwavering, to spread corruption among humanity. His journey is fraught with encounters that underscore his moral decay. One such encounter is with sin and death, two formidable entities that serve as stark reminders of his fall from grace. These encounters symbolize the dire consequences of unchecked ambition, further emphasizing Satan's descent into moral depravity. This part of the narrative paints a vivid picture of Satan's relentless determination and the lengths he is willing to go to achieve his nefarious goals. It serves as a stark reminder of the destructive power of ambition when left unchecked, and the devastating impact it can have on one's moral compass. A cherub's guise and the deception of Ariel. In a masterstroke of deception, Satan dons the disguise of a cherub, an angelic being of innocence and purity. With this guise, he successfully deceives Uriel, the vigilant guardian of the sun. This act of deception allows Satan to gain access to Earth, opening up a new frontier for his malevolent intentions. Upon reaching Earth, Satan sets his sights on paradise, a place of untainted beauty and tranquility. Unbeknownst to its inhabitants, they have become the targets of Satan's impending corruption. Milton's portrayal of Satan's cunning and guile is not just a character study, but also serves as a cautionary tale. It warns us against the allure of false promises and deception, reminding us that not everything that glitters is gold. This part of the narrative underscores the importance of discernment and vigilance in the face of potential deceit and manipulation, the struggle within and the spread of corruption. Despite being plagued by moments of doubt and introspection, Satan remains unyielding in his mission to spread corruption among humanity. His resolve, fueled by an insatiable thirst for power, remains unbroken. This internal turmoil that Satan experiences is a mirror to the timeless struggle between good and evil that resides within us all. His journey is not just a tale of rebellion and downfall, but also a challenge to the readers. It prompts us to confront our own moral dilemmas, to question our choices, and to understand the consequences they bear. This part of the narrative serves as a stark reminder that the line between good and evil often blurs, and the choices we make can lead us down paths we never intended to tread. It underscores the importance of introspection and the courage to confront our own inner demons, the seduction and downfall of Adam and Eve, the serpent's crafty persuasion. In the tranquil confines of paradise, a sinister plot unfolds. The serpent, a manifestation of Satan's cunning and deceit, sets its sights on Eve. With persuasive words and promises of untold knowledge, the serpent tempts Eve into partaking of the forbidden fruit. This act of defiance against divine command triggers humanity's fall from grace, marking the inception of sin and mortality. Adam, driven by his profound love for Eve, 
finds himself at a crossroads. Torn between obedience to divine law and his loyalty to Eve, he makes a choice that will forever alter the course of human history. Adam, too, indulges in the forbidden fruit, joining Eve in her act of disobedience. This leads to their inevitable expulsion from paradise, a place they once called home. The onset of sin and mortality marks the end of their innocence, ushering in a new era of hardship and toil. This part of the narrative serves as a poignant reminder of the consequences of yielding to temptation and the importance of personal responsibility. Repercussions and the Echo of Loss The repercussions of Adam and Eve's actions echo throughout the narrative, serving as a stark reminder of the fragility of human nature and the inevitable encounter with suffering. Their choices, born out of curiosity and defiance, set into motion a series of events that forever altered the course of human history. Milton, with his masterful command of language and narrative, captures the profound sadness of their loss. He paints a poignant picture of paradise lost, of innocence forever tarnished, and of a blissful existence replaced by hardship and toil. This part of the narrative underscores the profound implications of their choices, reminding us of the far-reaching effects our actions can have. Their story serves as a timeless lesson on the consequences of our actions, the impermanence of innocence, and the enduring human capacity for hope and redemption. It is a tale of loss and consequence, but also of resilience and the possibility of a new beginning. It reminds us that even in the face of great loss, the human spirit remains unbroken, always striving for redemption and a return to grace. Themes of free will and redemption. Amidst the despair of paradise lost, Milton offers glimpses of hope and redemption, underscoring the enduring power of free will and the possibility of spiritual renewal. Through the trials of Adam and Eve, readers are reminded of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Aftermath and Humanity's Future, Punishments and Transformations Divine justice is meted out as Satan, sin, and death face their respective punishments, while the fallen angels undergo a transformative process of self-realization. Milton's portrayal of redemption amidst chaos offers a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness of despair. Transformation of Earth and the Disruption of the Natural Order The aftermath of the fall has a profound impact on Earth, leaving an indelible mark that forever changes its natural order. This cataclysmic event ushers in an era of hardship and strife, replacing the once harmonious existence with a world fraught with challenges. The earth, once a paradise, now bears the scars of disobedience. The natural order is disrupted, and the world as Adam and Eve knew it is no more. The tranquil harmony of nature gives way to a harsher reality, where survival becomes a daily struggle. Yet, even amidst the chaos and destruction, there is a glimmer of hope. Like seeds sown in the barren earth, the potential for renewal emerges. Amidst the upheaval, the possibility of humanity's redemption and spiritual growth takes root. This part of the narrative serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always the potential for growth and renewal. It underscores the resilience of the human spirit and the unyielding hope for a better tomorrow. It is a testament to the enduring cycle of life, where endings give way to new beginnings, and loss paves the way for regeneration. In conclusion, the timeless resonance of Paradise Lost. As we draw our exploration to a close, it becomes evident that John Milton's Paradise Lost is more than just a poem, it is a timeless masterpiece that continues to resonate with readers across generations. This epic tale offers profound insights into the human condition, encapsulating the eternal struggle between good and evil in its verses. The enduring legacy of Paradise Lost is a testament to the transformative power of literature. It transcends the boundaries of time and space, reaching out to readers from all walks of life. The poem invites us to delve into life's deepest mysteries, to question our understanding of morality, and to reflect on the consequences of our actions. In its verses, we find a mirror to our own strengths and weaknesses, our triumphs and failures. Paradise Lost challenges us to confront our own understanding of good and evil, and to acknowledge the complex tapestry of the human experience. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to make us ponder, question, and reflect, proving that great literature does not merely tell a story, but also invites us on a journey of introspection and discovery. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Paradise Lost. Stay tuned to Celestial Chronicles for more enlightening content. Remember, every end is a new beginning. Until next time, keep exploring the celestial chronicles of literature.